Hi again, this is Christoph from Click. Today I would like to elaborate further on the live connectivity mockup that was shown in my other video. So I have on a high level explained the different possibilities to live access data from within Click. And the one we picked for this was to use the native UI and a Python accessed via a server side extension where Python actually queries the database using ODBC. So from an architectural point of view, that's what we've used. There is uh, one or more charts and there is one formula that calculates the dimension style that is necessary for the chart and one that uh, calculates the measure. Both are using a server-side extension interface towards Python and Python executes the query and the result is actually then visualized. To make the life easy, um, because it's two different formulas, there is also a variable with the SQL statement itself. And there is a field with an auto increment loaded, which is so to say the backbone to spin up the hypercube for the chart. There is even one more thing, the global field and a um, dynamic variable that calculates the wear condition. So how does that work? In the script, actually, there is um, that mentioned pseudo field with the auto increment. It's just uh, a digit from one to one million. And that field is hidden because it's no use for the UI itself. Whereas the global filter field is a field that is visible in the UI, as you saw in the video. And then there is the wear condition, which if something is selected in the field calculates a proper where syntax for the SQL statements. So actually here in the SQL statement, I'm uh, including a clause called where true. So normally this is completely neutral and does nothing. But when something gets selected, I'm replacing the where true later with that extra uh, that calculated where condition. So let me show you the making of in a fresh new chart. Let me start by creating a table and adding uh, the dimension and see what's happening here behind the scenes. I am using a variable which holds the SQL statement and that's uh, what you've seen just in the presentation. Um, I'm replacing the where true with a dynamic where condition if necessary. So that is when you select something in the year field. Uh, other than this, I'm returning back the first column because it starts with an index of zero. And there is also a variable holding the connection string. So right now I'm not doing any smart user pass through. It's just a connection string for all the users but it could be something dynamic, of course. And the last thing tells me the backbone field, that is the index that I'm selecting on. Let's make this trick visual, visible and add that dimension. And uh, then you can see that in fact, what's happening is when I select some uh, customer here, I'm actually selecting on the field underscore one. So um, now the second trick is the expression. So I'm adding um, a suitable expression now. And the formula for the measure is similar than the one for the dimension, but I'm getting here values back and I'm picking the right entry for the given dimension. So I need to get uh, the right position in that array to return the right value. And that is calculated using field index. So what it says in my specific situation is show me the, f the 84th line um, first column as a dimension and the second column for freight cost. So that's in a nutshell how to get this work. The downside is both columns send their the identical SQL statement two times towards uh, Python and there is currently no optimization that bundles that uh, it just sends it straight to ODBC two times. 
you have seen that the two visualizations actually show as two separate selections and that is achieved using alternate states this uses a separate state than the other chart the selection from an engine point of view is done on the field underscore one in either case but in a different selection room so you get uh, two different selections applied here so most of the clients natural behavior except for the associativity is reused in this approach so with that stay tuned to the communications that will come out there is still the survey monkey link up and running for you uh, you can leave your email there so i will stay in touch with you uh, on updates in this innovation project thank you for watching